Thank you for taking the time. Finland's Olli Rehn is a three-time EU Commissioner, currently in charge of economic and financial affairs. A pretty thankless watch considering the constant turmoil since he took office. As the EU and Eurozone enter uncharted territory with the Greek political crisis, he plots a course for recovery for Euronews. Commissioner Rehn, thanks for being with us. The economic roadmap proposed by you here in Brussels, proposed by Berlin, seems this month to, be, uh, to have been rejected by French and Greek voters. Don't you think it's time to change the approach? I think it's important that uh, we in uh, Europe uh, now combine both uh, fiscal consolidation and uh, sustainable growth. What do you actually mean by growth? Because growth is like, well, peace, everybody wants it, but what exactly do you mean by growth? That's uh, precisely the problem in the current uh, debate, uh, and uh, therefore we have to substantiate and uh, we have to tell the people how growth uh, will come about. Uh, our view is that uh, we have to stay, stay the course uh, on fiscal consolidation because uh, we cannot uh, grow by piling new debt. Uh. So it's more of the same austerity, isn't can, it? Can, if you listen to me, so I yeah. tell you. So uh, first, uh, we have to stay the course uh, on uh, fiscal consolidation, and in parallel, we have to reinforce uh, the actions uh, in the field of uh, investment, uh, both uh, concerning uh, how to boost uh, public uh, and uh, stimulate uh, private uh, investment. Uh. How do you do that? Well, you do, first of all, by creating confidence in the economy, which means you have to resolve the sovereign debt crisis and uh, mitigate the uh, banking sector fragilities uh, in order to have credit flowing in the economy. And in parallel, you can, uh, you can use the public, public banks and uh, public investment, uh, such as uh, the European Investment Bank, uh, and uh, we need to stimulate uh, private investment uh, by that, uh, because there is uh, plenty of uh, private uh, money in Europe for the moment, uh, but uh, it is not uh, going into investments. But a lo lot of commentators are saying this is only going to tweak the current recipe. I don't see how you can say that uh, that's a small tweak. Uh, if you put uh, 10 billion euros in the European Investment Bank, uh, you get uh, 60 billion euros of uh, lending by the EIB, which uh, can altogether imply around, uh, with leverage, around uh, 180 billion euros of uh, investment. Uh, in uh, infrastructure and uh, innovation, in uh, energy and uh, green growth uh, in Europe. Uh, I don't think that is uh, insignificant, uh, on the contrary. What does Greece need to do to stay in the Euro? We talk about uh, Greece. Uh, for Greece, uh, it is important that uh, the country will be able to, and the political leaders in the country will be able to form a coalition government uh, that is like uh, that is able to able to bring the country out of, out of the current uh, difficult situation and uh, to support uh, growth and uh, and uh, employment enhancing policies uh, of uh, economic reforms and uh, fiscal adjustment what if it can't form a coalition government what then let's not uh, speculate on uh, on uh, scenarios which are not uh, yet uh, happening i i trust that uh, the greek uh, political leaders uh, will realise the seriousness of the situation and will try to form a coalition government uh, soon. Would it be a disaster now if Greece did leave the Euro? I do not want to speculate on, uh, on the, the question of uh, possible exit of, uh, of Greece uh, from the Euro. I don't want to paint the devil to the wall if it is not uh, necessary. It's more important now to be determined, uh, especially in Greece, uh, in order to form a coalition government uh, and uh, in a convincing manner tackle the economic challenges of the country. The Commission President, Sir Jose Manuel Barroso, has spoken about the fiscal compact being intelligent, being adaptable. Does that mean less pain for Spain? Spain has uh, formidable economic challenges, uh, largely because of uh, the accumulated uh, external imbalances uh, because of the credit boom in the past decade uh, and uh, the property bubble which uh, has burst. And uh, inevitably it takes uh, some time still before this uh, readjustment uh, has been concluded. Will it get the year that it needs to bring down deficit? I think that's, uh, with uh, due respect, uh, that is uh, a too simplistic uh, way of uh, putting the challenges of Spain. Spain uh, has major challenges in two fields, uh, especially 
well, three. I mean, the first one is, of course, uh, the high level of uh, unemployment, uh, especially youth unemployment. Uh, the country is now tackling that uh, with uh, a very substantial labor market reform, which is uh, long overdue. Second, uh, the country is, uh, and the government as we speak, in fact, uh, is uh, meeting in order to decide uh, on a very comprehensive and, uh, and uh, deep-going uh, reform of the savings bank sector, which is essential to restore confidence into the banking system of uh, Spain and make the credit flow again. And uh, third, uh, the excessive spending of the regional governments uh, needs to be controlled and uh, curbed. So Spain has to focus on these three things uh, in order to restore confidence and, uh, and uh, improve the credibility of its uh, economic and uh, fiscal policy, which is essential in order to grow again. My final point, will Greece be in the euro next year? Greece will be in the euro next year. Of course, it is essential that uh, Greece will have to be able to take uh, the necessary decisions uh, to meet the conditions of the second uh, program of uh, economic reform and uh, fiscal adjustment. Uh, and uh, that requires uh, better political stability and uh, a functional coalition government uh, that is enjoying the support of the majority in the Greek parliament. Commissioner Rehm, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Fine. Thank you.